Hi, I wanted to show you how we can do rectangle sums on GeoGebra. So first of all, let me just enter a function right here, and you may guess it. I'm going to just write in like f of x is equal to x squared. So here's the parabola, and let me focus on the interval from 1 to 2. So let me just um, choose move, and I'm just going to move this around. And because I want to focus between 1 to 2, I can screw up, and that will be the zooming zoom out. And you can also do this like this way right here if you would like. But I think this is okay for now, from 1 to 2. So um, here's the comment. You go to input because you want to do red, uh, rectangle sum. So you just spell out, okay, I want red tangle. So the moment I press RE, and as you can see, the second choice is exactly what we're looking for, the rectangle sum. So let me choose that. The first input is going to be for the function. So I want the rectangles underneath the function that we have, which is f of x. So you can just press enter, I um, mean f, and then comma. The starting x value, I want it to be 1. And then the end value, I want it to be 2. So I have f, comma, 1, comma, 2. And now the next number is going to be the number of rectangles that you want. Let me just say 6, for example. And the last number, this is the important number that you have to pay attention to. It's the position for the rectangle. 0, it will be for the left endpoint. Okay? Sometimes you have to do the left endpoint, sometimes you have to do the right endpoint, and maybe sometimes the midpoint. 0 is for the left, 1 is for the right, and 0.5 is for the midpoint. Let me just show you the 0. So um, let me just hit enter. As you can see, here are the left endpoint rectangles approximation, and you can click on the number A and you can move this around. And there you have it. This is how you can do the rectangle sum. And a few things that you can do is um, you can double click on the number. Maybe we want to have more rectangles, so you can just double click on that and then come here. I want to choose, let's say, 30 rectangles. And then I hit OK. And as you can see here, we have like much more rectangles. Maybe you cannot see it, but like if you're zooming, you can convince people that we have that many rectangles. Uh, however, this is not for research purpose, this is for educational purpose, so um, don't be too crazy on the number of rectangles. So uh, don't choose like 1 million or things like that. Anyways, um, let me double click on this. So let me just change to, let's say, 6. And let me show you the right end point. For the right end, you, you make the last number 1. And hit OK. And here we have it, the right end point rectangle. And for the midpoint, you just go here and then change the 1 to 0 0.5. And you see that here are the midpoint rectangles. And maybe let me just do a quick fix to make this prettier. Double click on this, Object Properties. And I'm going to change the style, make the line, make the curve thicker. And then click on A, which are the rectangles. Um, you can make this thicker if you would like, but I think this is OK. Then go to the color, making it red. If you would like, you can like fill in the colors, or maybe not. So maybe like this. OK. Another cool thing is that once you have this, you are set, you have a template. So you can just go to a function, double click on that. Maybe you want to do like e to the x. So you can just type in f of x is equal to e to the x. And this will be cool. OK, let me show you. Hit enter then it's going to generate the rectangles for you under e to the x, like that. Okay, and you can just like adjust whichever window that you would like, and then save this as a picture, and then paste it onto a Microsoft Word for your example, for your handout. This is it, I hope you guys like it, and you can check out more for the other things that we can do with GeoGebra. I love this program so much. Okay, see you later, talk to you soon.